here we have what I call a fire pod stage one of a fire pod a tripod ideally with forked intersections at the top to really strengthen it and then bound together with some spruce root cordage and some ivy cordage so there's the three intersecting spars of the tripod we have the fire underneath small as small as possible with a nice hot ember base I have some water boiling for soup and it's on a pot hook which has got four four settings or space for at least two pots to hang at the same time and that pot hook is a green holly withy which runs up through the tripod and comes out the top here and then that's tied in through the tripod itself part way down I have a shelf tied with spruce root cordage and some vine cordage and that gives me that gives me both a roof for the fire and it's drying timber it also gives me a drying rack if I had something to keep a little bit warm or something like socks or boots to dry out you'll notice the ends of the shelves purposely protrude so potential to to hang equipment to dry here's a jacket on the downwind side of the fire drying off my my tripod or fire pod purposely overextends on top and stage two of this fire pod would be to to fill in this top extension with reasonably waterproof boughs like spruce boughs um, and that creates another roof above the fire and it's going to keep that firewood dry because at the moment while that wet wood is being dried from below there's nothing protecting it from above um, if and when it rains and the other thing that can be done with my fire pod is one of the extensions this one here moves out quite a bit and that gives potential for a very simple lean-to possibly with with pine boughs maybe some bracken up against that the fire itself is down in a little bit of a natural hollow And I have a natural fire reflector on one side, a large rock a metre, metre and a half away to reflect the heat back out at me and a couple more fire reflectors need to be, need to be built here. What you're seeing just on the left of the fire isn't a fire reflector as such, the reflector needs to be further back, much bigger, much more compact, um, but this is just some, some wet wood which is quickly drying off and you'll notice some of the burning wood in the fire it's, it's hazel and oak soaking wet when it was collected but once the bark and the moss is quickly skinned off which is surprisingly fast um, it, it, it burns well so I'm just waiting for my water to boil I need to adjust that pot hook slightly maybe lower the pot down onto the embers more so 
um, and then let it boil for, for five minutes and it's good to go it might still be dirty water in terms of colour but it's, it's sterilised, it's purified and that's what I want